Welcome. Thank you for joining. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the Lenape Great Novice Sink to Mini Sink Trail Historical Marker Project, um, which is a project that we have started to place historical markers uh, in the Monmouth County portion of the Lenape Great Mini Sink Trail, only the Monmouth County portion. Um, in this presentation, I'll be talking a little bit about the history of the Novice Sink to Mini Sink Trail, some fun facts uh, associated with that, um, where we plan to place these historical markers, and also making a pitch for a donation so that you can uh, contribute to the cause to uh, make this a reality. Before I begin, again, let me introduce myself and the organization that I am a part of. My name is Mark Gottworth. I am the acting Keepers of the Eastern Flame, President of the Intertribal Council of AT&T Employees. We are an independent 501c nonprofit, and we're not associated with AT&T Corporation. We are current AT&T employees and AT&T retirees, but the company itself, we are independent of the company, and the company does not endorse this pro project or the content of the slide deck or um, the donations that we'll be um, requesting. So before I begin to talk about the Lenape Great Mini Sink Trail, I'll start off um, with just talking a little bit about the donations and then ending the slide presentation with that information again. But uh, we do plan to raise about 9500 to cover the cost of the historical markers. Um, you can pay directly on PayPal to make a donation. Uh, www.paypal.me forward slash I-C-A-E A-E-F. Uh, I don't think it matters whether it's lower caps or upper caps, but the way it's written here is lowercase I-C-A-E and upper caps K-E-F. Um, to comply with New Jersey fundraising regulations, please include your name, email address, street address, and note that the donation is for the Mini Sink Trail. And you could do that by, there's a little button there that says add a note. And then please put that content in to the note section. Okay, so we're going to start off now by uh, talking about what is the Lenape Great Novice Sink to Mini Sink Trail. It's a 75 mile trail that ran from the Novice Sink Highlands in Monmouth County to the Mini Sink Island in the Delaware Water Gap. It's the longest and best known Lenape Trail in New Jersey. It was used for travel and trade, and it connected to the Mohawk Trail in upstate New York and into other Native American trade routes that lead into the states of Pennsylvania, uh, further than that into the Great Lakes region and all the way up into Canada. So you could look at the Council Fire at Minisink Island as being a Lenape trading hub. Um, large rivers via canoes were really in some ways used as today's superhighways, right? And of course, they connected to land routes as well. So you had these land and water routes leading to Minisink Island, um, again, acting as a trading hub to uh, not only the Lenapes, uh, but the, um, the tribes and, and the Native American um, communities, you know, surrounding that, that New Jersey itself. Um, then the Minisink Trail also served as, as a foundation to some of the earliest roads in New Jersey. So you can see it here on the 19 or the 1747 James Alexander map. If you can look at my little cursor here, I'm doing it on the screen, you can see this is Minisink Island up here on the northern part, northwestern part of New Jersey. And it's making its way down through New Jersey over the Raritan River, Raritan Bay area and down into here, the Navasink River. Um, Navasink River is right close to Sandy Hook. So you've got the Sandy Hook Bay where the Navasink River uh, enters into, as well as um, the Navasink River itself. And at that point in time, it actually punched through a little bit to uh, the Atlantic Ocean, although that right route has been uh, closed and is no longer active. Um, so, this map was used um, 
in colonial times for land purchases and uh, lawsuits associated with land purchases. So you can see that uh, the Mini Sing Trail was really well known um, and, you know, was uh, an icon for uh, establishing spatial geometry, right? Geographic, uh, you, you know, where counties are, states are, lands are uh, in relation to the Mini Sing Trail. So you can read more about the Mini Sink Trail in many history books. Um, the county histories, Amamath, Middlesex, Union, Middle, uh, um, all have sections on the Mini Sink Trail. Um, the New Jersey Historical Society Quarterly Magazine has some great articles on the Mini Sink Trail as well. Um, this path has been extensively detailed in the Lenape Room at the Atlantic Highlands Historical Society, Strauss Mansion Museum in the Atlantic Highlands. And it's really a wonderful exhibit up on the third floor. If you haven't been there, uh, I highly recommend that you go there and you'll see uh, a map of Monmouth County with the uh, Mini Sing Trail in, in highlighting. And that uh, Lenape Room was in large part uh, established by Paul Boyd who was a historian who did his uh, PhD thesis to Rutgers University. And um, that was detailed in what he calls his thesis name, Atlantic Highlands from Lenape Camps to Bayside Town. And uh, a section of that thesis talks about uh, the Native American trails in, New Jer in Monmouth County and uh, has a, a, a decent portion on the Lenape Minising Trail and identifies the current roads. Um, it also covers, you know, uh, Native American communities that were in Monmouth County, uh, some of the archaeological finds as well. So let's talk about some fun facts. Um, so to give you, I think, a, a good uh, visualization of the Mini Sing Trail. Um, if we go back to 1694, right, which is almost 100 years before 1776, the birth of our nation, um, there's historical accounts of 700 braves coming from the quote unquote far west, laden with furs, and they were camped at Mini Sink Island area on the way to the New Jersey coast for trade. So I think this is the earliest reference we have to Lenape use and, and the associated Indian tribes of the area uh, use of the Navasink to Minisink trail. Um, and it's amazing, 700, you know, people um, coming down the trail. That's, you know, uh, just awesome, right? Um, the path traveled the glacial terminal moraine in northern New Jersey sections. So in towns such as Perth Amboy, Plainfield, Springfield, Summit, Chatham, Madison, Morristown, Denville, Rockaway, Dover, Netcong, Hackettstown, and Belvedere, you have the remains you know, of the terminal moraine. For folks that don't know that, what it is is as the glacier melts, it leaves you know, piles of rocks. So, um, this is the footprint, so to speak, of the edge of this uh, glacier. Um, and the path traveled that terminal rain as it was a, a great way to get through the state, right? Um, from a practical point of view. And so if you're also protecting the Mini Sing Trail, there could be some double uses here in terms of protecting the remnants of this glacial terminal moraine. Uh, I'm not sure whether all of the Minising Trail has been covered by uh, roads. Um, if not, and in some of these areas, um, it may be great, again, to preserve some of that terminal moraine as well as the Minising Trail. Um, so um, other fun facts are that the Lenape would normally travel this trail single file, about 10 feet apart between each person. Uh, and the incumbent warriors were moving faster in something that was called a dog trot. So you could imagine that they're looking uh, ahead to, uh, uh, 
you know, basically scout out what's happening down the trail prior to the other people uh, coming up behind them. Um, the trail was used as late as 1820 uh, as a group of people asked and received permission to sleep in a barn that was owned by a Mr. Washington Bond located off the Minisink Trail in Chatham. The next morning, they reciprocated that kindness by giving a war dance, much to the amusement of Mr. Bond and his neighbors. And uh, from the historical records, they're saying that this is possibly the last of the Munsee, uh, as far as known, to have used this, the trail going down to the Jersey Shore. Um, the Minisink Trail passes through numerous national and New Jersey historical registers of historic places in Monmouth County. So I think that's a, 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 a um, testing to the fact that the early settlers um, were using this trail, you know, and, and interacting with the Lenape communities. Um, and the earliest villages are established along the Minisink Trail. So when you look particularly at the Middletown Village Historic District, uh, the Navasink Historic District, the Locust Historic District, these are all in Middletown. And the Minisink Trail passes through um, these districts. There's other uh, icons that are listed on the historic places as well. Um, several churches, uh, All Saints, Christ Episcopal, um, and General Store, the Locust General Store is also uh, located along the trail. This is a visualization of the Minisink Trail as it goes through the current day roads. And I'll go over these roads in a moment, what the physically roads are, what the names are. But you can see that um, the Clay Pit Creek area was this, what we would call kind of the, the end of the Clay Pit Creek, I mean the Minisink Trail. Um, there was a Lenape village in that area, and I'll talk about that, as well as uh, several other Lenape villages along this area. Um, but at this point in Clay Pit Creek, the trail uh, goes in two or three different directions, one to Sandy Hook Bay, and another wraps around to the Navasink River itself. Um, and at the western end of Monmouth County, this is where you see the uh, Minisink Trail uh, exit. So it's mostly a east-west trail, about 13 miles in length. Um, what are the modern-day roads? So we're starting from Clay Pit Creek. We go west via Hartshorn Road. It continues on to Monmouth Avenue, to Kings Highway East, to Red Hill Road, to Holland Road, South Holland Road. And at that point, you cross into Homedale, continuing on to Crawford's Corner Road, which goes to Van Brackle. And then as Van Brackle Road goes into Matawan, you briefly go on to Route 34, uh, onto then Mill Road, heading west again, Wilson Avenue, and Ticetown Road. Um, we would like to do about six historical markers or locations, let's put it that way, um, along this path. Uh, three of them are on Monmouth County Park Systems, um, who are a partner in this project. Um, and then a final trail marker would be located uh, on the western border of Monmouth County as we leave into Middlesex County. So this is the scope. So let's talk now about um, a little bit of the current status of the project. So um, we have received letters of project support from the Middletown Historical Commission, the Middletown Historical Society, the Monmouth County Park Service, and the Monmouth County Historical Association. So. Um, my deepest gratitude for these organizations to uh, continue with this, for these organizations uh, uh, providing the support to us. Um, I would not be here speaking to you today without this support. So again, my uh, deepest appreciation. Um, we also have commitment from Monmouth County to place the Minisink Trail with historic byway recognition. 
and to mark the trail on their website. Um, IKE in this, uh, 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 we act as a 501c nonprofit uh, in order to uh, A, you know, do the fundraising for this and B, apply for grants. If we are short in fundraising, we're going to apply for grant, in particular, New Jersey Historic Trust Grant. Um, so in the last year in 2020, we raised uh, approximately $2,000, um, but we need to further that to uh, continue um, to raise the uh, total amount of funds that we're going to need for this project. Um, again, I'm going to, at the end of this presentation, give you the, uh, the, the PayPal account uh, and other to just say that, too, if you donate larger than $20, you will also receive a digital copy of the song called Footsteps, which the unemployed teachers made uh, to popularize the Mini Sync Trail as well. Um, so here are the locations of where we plan to put historical markers. The first one is at Clay Pit Creek, which is on the land owned by the Monmouth County Park System. Um, we have uh, partnered with uh, uh, one of their staff who has been instrumental, I think, in, in, in helping us uh, pull this vision together of, of how we would do this. Um, Clay Pit Creek is undergoing some renovation. And so uh, on Miller's Wall, the current plan would be to have some historical um, uh, markers and plaques to describe the historical historical, uh, 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 I guess, the, the history of the Clay Pit Creek area, uh, part of which is the Lenape Minising Trail. And the village that was in that general area, uh, no one knows exactly, I think, where it was located, but um, it was, uh, again, uh, in the Clay Pit Creek area. Um, so the plan would be to have a, uh, a, a plaque on Miller's Wall that would talk about the village of Osquamek, and the text would read, in this and the surrounding Navasink area, lie, lie ancestral villages of Lenape, including Osquamek. The great Navasink to Minising Trail has its southern endpoint here. This 75-mile trail connected the Lenape Council fires at Minising Island to the Navasink area, Lenape villages, and was used for migration and trade. Uh, we are currently working with the Lenape tribe um, and the Lenape community that is still present in New Jersey um, uh, to work on final text, work on the final uh, uh, you know, presentation of what the historical markers would look like. So this is not a final version uh, uh, in any means of what the text and uh, visualizations will look like, but I, it's it's our drafts right now. So location number two is on Kings Highway uh, in the Chapel Hill Road Historic District. Okay, so at the intersection of King Highway East and Chapel Hill Road, uh, you see some existing historical markers. Um, and so what we plan to do is to append to these uh, just the text historic Minising Trail with some icons of uh, representing the Lenape sub-tribes. Uh, there were three sub-tribes in New Jersey the, uh, 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 representing different uh, linguistic, I think, aspects of Lenape communities. And uh, they were represented by uh, the wolf uh, in the northern reaches of New Jersey the turtle in the kind of middle reaches of New Jersey, which would include Clay Pit Creek, right? Minisink Island would be the wolf community. And in Southern Jersey, you have the turkey community. So the idea would be to append this sign um, below the existing historical, to the pole, uh, below the existing signs that uh, are currently in the area. Location number three is on Kings Highway East in the Middletown Historic Village District. Um, here's another representation of the, the sort of sign, and this is like, a, I, I'd say, I guess, a second or third draft. So we have some uh, existing feedback from the Lenape community that we should add the turkey 
um, plan to this uh, uh, signage, as well as some moccasin. So uh, what you see here on this sign is the uh, representation of the three um, Olenape and district communities that were uh, sub-tribes that were in New Jersey. So again, this would be a smaller sign which be appended to this existing pole. Location number four is Holland Road um, at Tatum Park, which is another location of the Monmouth County Park System. Uh, and on the other side, the eastbound side would also be on AT&T, another marker on AT&T's property. Um, the Lenape Minisink Trail passes on the Holland Road entrance to the AT&T facility. And the text for the, these signs would be, uh, as you see here, uh, with associated test, text, um, here passes the Lenape Great Novicing to Minisink Trail, a 75-mile path traversed for migration and trade between the Council Fire at Minisink Island and the Lenape Villages on the Novicink River. The fifth location is at Homedale Park, again on Monmouth County Park System um, land at Homedale Park, and uh, similar text. And what you see here is just a sign in blue um, as we're you know, kind of playing around with what the signs could actually look like. Um, here's a sign in red, the same text, and that text would also be on location number six, which is the exit from Monmouth County uh, in Matawan as you head into Middlesex County. Uh, hopefully at some point in time, maybe the trail could be continued into Middlesex County. Uh, that's not part of our current scope. Um, but, you know, that would be a nice thing to, to continue. So uh, Tice Town Road is the road that exits from uh, Monmouth County into Middlesex County. So uh, we don't have a physical location pinned down yet because the land on that is private land. I don't believe there's any um, county land or, or, or township land. So uh, we have to partner with private owners in that area. There are, uh, uh, I think, several that we could approach that hopefully would be sympathetic, uh, but we have not approached them yet. So this kind of um, gives you the overview of the locations. Um, the cost, I think we, again, want to raise about $9,500, um, more dollars, right? Uh, we had raised about 2000 as I mentioned, in 2020. Uh, we want to have some for the signs themselves. We've got some ballpark estimates. Um, we need to, uh, you know, get some graphic funding for the graphics. Um, and also, we'd like to do a ribbon cutting ceremony, and we'd like to have some money to associate to support that. Um, so again, our goal is to raise uh, $9,500. Um, you can do that by uh, uh, donating to our PayPal link. Um, again, www.paypal.me forward slash I-C-A-E, K-E-F. Uh, I don't know whether it's case sensitive, so it's lowercase I-C-A-E, uppercase K-E-F. Um, and to comply with New Jersey fund rating, raising regulations, please include your name, your email address, your street address, and note that the donation is for the Minisync Trail. And you could do this by clicking Add a Note uh, on the PayPal page. And then in that box that opens up, you can please put in that associated information. Um, donations of $20 or more will receive a advanced copy of the Unemployed Teachers Footsteps song, courtesy of the Unemployed Teachers. Um, that song has not been released yet. It was debuted on an internet uh, broadcast on a blowupradio.com, New Jersey's radio, internet radio station. Um, they did a three-day fundraiser for uh, raising money for the Spina Diphylitis Association, and the song was debuted by the unemployed teachers uh, for that uh, uh, um, three-day festival. But the song was written to popularize the mini sync trail. So uh, you will get a, a, a copy of that in advance if you donate more than $20. So uh, in closing, 
I want to thank you for you know listening to the presentation. Um, hopefully, fundraising, you know, contributing to this cause. Um, I think the uh, the Mini Sing Trail is a great way to recognize our heritage, uh, our common heritage, and in particular our uh, contributions of the Lenape community to the land that we live on. Um, it's important, I think, to uh, to uh, reflect that legacy. The Lenape people are with us today. Their descendants, uh, some of their descendants, still live in New Jersey. Uh, call the state their home, and uh, you know, I think in our hearts, we it's just great if we can see these signages every day and remember, um, you know, uh, and appreciate uh, our current Lenape communities and and uh, the history of uh, of uh, of you know this trail passing through our state. So with that, again, I'll close and uh, say thank you so much for uh, your attention. Uh, a Lenape word is wa I, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. Waishi or Wanishi, which is Lenape word for thank you. So uh, using that word, uh, I will thank you, Waishi, for your time and. Uh, um, opening your hearts to the Mini Sink Trail project. Take care.